Hey there, in today's video, we'll talk about our shadow. Hey, hey, look at this shadow. What? I thought we are talking about shadow. It's just Kao Yung's shadow, you know, like our dark side. Oh. Okay. Now, firstly, what is shadow? Now, shadows are often traits that we have repressed and really pushed away and deny, right? And the reason it's important to look at all this is because often when we deny a trait so much, they end up becoming something that runs our life. And it often is the source of our misery, depression, sometimes it's also the root of addiction, things like that. And the best explanation I have seen is actually by Debbie Ford's book, Dark Side of the Light Chaser. So for the sake of a simpler understanding, I'm just going to take a story from her book and I'm going to plagiarize it, sprinkle some dust on it, distort it a little bit as some salt and also some MSG so that it can be a bit more entertaining for you. So. Let's take this character, his name is Tofu. Now, when Tofu is a really young kid, he was very smart, he scored a lot of A's in his exam, but one day, he discovered Minecraft. And ever since then, he is addicted to playing video games until at one point in exam, he failed a lot of his subjects. And his teachers and his parents were really mad at him. They are saying things like, what happened to you? Like, shame on you, you were the top in the class, now you are the last. And Tofu felt a lot of shame. And from that point onward, he decided that being stupid is unacceptable at all. He decided to really push himself and be smart. And sure enough, he did. He got a PhD, he became a really smart person, he became the top professor lecturing. But that's a problem. Because he has repressed this trait of stupid so deep into his psyche, whenever he encounters people whom he deems as stupid, like students who are a bit slow and couldn't understand what he say despite a few rounds of explanation, or other colleagues that work slower than him, he would be very agitated. It got even worse, like at one point, he found himself cheating in his academic paper just so he can publish these academic papers and look smart. And that's when Tofu seek for help. And when he went to a therapist, he spoke about it, he worked through it, and today Tofu is so much more patient with people who are slower. He teach a lot better now because he don't get agitated, he has that patience to explain, and he worked a lot better with people. But all in all, Tofu has just become a way healthier, happier human being. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the tale of Tofu, integrating our dark side. So how do I identify what are some of these shadows? Dear student, I'm, I'm so glad you asked. Sit, sit. Thank you, thank you. That's a great question. Number one is the triggers that we actively deny. Like, have you ever have some friends say something to you and it feels like... Like there's this one point my friend was just saying that you know your laugh is a bit fake. How dare you say my laugh is fake. My laugh is the most authentic, genuine laugh in the whole wide world. From here you can see that I have something going on with fake. It triggers me a lot when people describe me that way. And the funny thing about shadow is sometimes when you shove a trait away too far, they will find other ways to manifest and show up like within us. Like if I don't want to be stupid or argue really loudly and they end up making me look more stupid, Something like that. And the second way to identify is a very strong judgment that we have on other people. There was this one time where I was watching a stand-up comedy and the comedian, Hey, you guys don't know how cute I am. You guys must be really liking me. And I, I just felt this strong rush of judgment. Like, oh my god, that's so agitating. And later on when I reflect, I realized that it was because I haven't worked on my trade on pride. Pride is something I'm not so okay with. So when I see anything that feels like it is pride, I would be so uncomfortable. And I also know that this would cost me a lot of things. It got me not talking about my success or my client's testimonials sometimes with my coaching. And when I'm running workshops, I also feel a lot harder to brag and that may also affect my credibility. Damn it, I really need to work on this pride thing. So I'm going to share with you how I work on it and I'm going to start off with the lighter traits that I get to work on. So the first method I use is turnaround and essentially turnaround is just the idea that dark sides are traits inside us that we actively reject, right? So if we can look inwards and we see how that we have some of this trait, it tends to melt away a little bit more of the judgment and the resistance. And when it lands very well, it will feel like 
So I started off with doing a lot of mini things, right? Like my friend coming late, then I would think about, okay, where has I been late in my life? And a pro tip here is that the workshop facilitator shared with me, you want to get to this point where it felt like an aha moment. It is not like, yeah, I can see times where I'm late, that's it. His is one hour late. Mine is only five minutes. Different, different. So it's not like that, but it is a lot like it lands strongly in you that you go, hmm, yeah. Like you feel it in your body. And a fast way to remember is just this. And here is another way that you can work with your dark side. Sometimes the traits are repressed quite far away. It is not as easy to see them. So it can get a bit challenging to see like I'm not like that at all. No. And one way I've experienced the way of doing that is to break that traits down into individual metrics. So I get to work on some of my dark side on pride. And the way the coaching goes was something like, no, I'm not prideful. So if I ask you to measure pride, what are some of the metrics? Well, you do that by having comparison, you have superior, inferior. Well, how often do you do all those things? Shit. All the time. So essentially what we are doing here is we are giving some space between what the trait is and also ourself, right? It is almost like, hey kid, could you see you have a bit of this dark side? I don't have any of it. Well, how do you measure it? It's not about whether you got this trait or not. Oh, that one, I know that one is actually ABC. Hey, <laughs> got you. So other things that has been done before for me is I was not okay with pride. So I had a practice where I need to do a Facebook Live to share my success and what I have achieved. So very simple practice, leaning into what you are rejecting. Another method that I found to be really helpful is Ken Wilber's 3 to one method. Essentially, all that he does is that you see your shadow in front of you, the trait you actively reject so much, see that person in front of you. You're going to talk to him, have a one-to-one -one conversation. And you're going to sit in his position and talk as this trait that you reject so much back to you. And at the end, you both are just going to come together. So... That is also a very effective way to integrate our dark side. And the final part I want to share with you is about some of this stuff. They are deeper, right? We all have some of the major traits that run our life. Like how tofu it was about stupid. For me, one of the major traits that ran my life was that I, I couldn't be useless. I need to be successful in my career. And that ran my life a lot, right? I went from business to business and the desire was just to prove myself. For this, there were not like one time that it worked. There was just multiple times where I reflected, have conversations with people. Eventually, there's just this one point that I go and stop. Oh. I realized that that desire to just want to build a million dollar business, uh, it kind of faded a little bit more. That I decided to pursue what fulfills me more, which is all this personal development stuff and you know this content I'm making with you. <laughs> and so when it comes to deeper contacts like this, my recommendation, if, if you haven't done this before, it's always best to do it with a coach or with a therapist. Those are very helpful or do it in a workshop. Um, but... Here are my lessons when it comes to working with our dark side. Number one, when it comes to the heavier trait that we reject, there would typically be a bit more emotions to it. And so it needs to be worked through also. Like Debbie Ford in her book, she shared how when she realized the trait she rejected was racist, she stared at the mirror and then she just kept saying, I'm racist and she said tears were just streaming down her face and she did that for multiple days. The next part is about how this is always a continuous process. Sometimes it's easy to go, I have work on my shadow, <laughs> I'm all pure and holy now. But the fact is that it takes time and some of these dark side they may still show up and we still need to work on them. And my final thought for you is that doing this work, really, it comes down to being compassionate too. Now, sometimes when we look at some of us, we have some of this trait, it's just easy to go like, oh my god, I was so horrible, and then we start judging ourselves. To that, I want to quote what Neil Donner Watch has said, in which he say, understanding replaces forgiveness. There was this convict who actually murdered his wife as well as his daughter. And when he was in jail, his mother-in-law just came and visit him and talk to him and show him love and compassion. And at the end of the day, the person is able to say, My father has always beat me with a belt. 
and he would just shout at me that I do this because I love you. And for years, I grew up feeling that is what love is. Until when my mother-in-law came to me, visit me, I understood what true love is. So I think the core is to really understand a lot of the time when we make a mistake, when we do something that we are not very proud of, often it is fueled by a lot of pain and we are already doing our best. So it is really understanding that and to be able to see and embrace that that helps this whole healing process to move a lot easier. So that's all for this video. I hope it is helpful for you. And if you have any thoughts, what you would like me to talk about, feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. Take care. Have a beautiful day.